Here's my number one takeaway from the NCAA tournament. Aliras from Northern Colorado University, he just won the NCAA title. And what he said, and it reminded me of what our coaches at Oklahoma State preached. He said that the what was a difference from last year when he went one and two at the NCAA tournament to this year when he won it, and I believe he was undefeated on the season too, was he, he said, how you do anything is how you do everything. He said, he said, making my bed, doing, doing my dishes, making sure I did not get distracted while I was doing my homework. I never went to bed without my homework finished. I had a schedule, I ate better. I think this is very important. And then they asked him in the interview, again, something similar after he won the NCAA tournament, he just said it was a character thing. He said he improved his character and he started to like just live it. So I think those two are very closely related. But, um, you know, you, you, you hear stories of Michael Jordan. He would dust mop the basketball court before practice. He would get the balls out. He would get the water bottles out. He even washed the towels after. He would not let the manager do it. He collected all the balls, stacked them, wiped them off, did the floor, and I believe he even did like wash the towels. And he said, you know, he thought it was important. And I thought, man, here's a guy who's driving, you know, a uh, $2 million car to practice and he's sweeping the floors. But it's the same concept that um, Alira has mentioned. And that really stuck out to me. And, and when I was at Oklahoma State years ago, that, they said this, they said, if your locker is messy, you cannot be an All-American. You can't be a national champ. Your, your locker is messy. Your car is messy. You show up to study hall. Um, you don't show up on time to study hall. They said, everything you do, and I thought this was kind of cool. They were like, we have to be number one on campus of all the athletes on campus. We should have a reputation. Even how we treat you guys treat your girlfriend, even how you treat your your uh, tutor, your professor, even how you treat the administration, the guy mowing the grass, all of these things also matter. And um, you know, your locker's messy, you can't be a national champion, right? Same thing. I thought, man, this is amazing. And it really helped. It changed my whole life because I became a, a much better person after being, uh, that was preached to me. So that's my number one takeaway from um, the NCAA tournament. And I think it's worth sharing this. Obviously, you can subscribe and so forth and share this. But I wouldn't want you to share this with someone who needs to read this and see this and listen to this because... Um, you know, I feel like sometimes we're just so wrestling focused and the rest of our life is a freaking mess. And if your whole life is chaos and bull crap, just because you work hard two hours a day, dude, guess what? There's a lot of people working hard two hours a day who also get good grades. They also sit in the first three rows of class. That was something also preached to us and I started doing it. Um, helping out around the house, thanking the coach, shaking the coach's hand. After someone opens the weight room for you, shake their hand and say, thank you for opening the weight room for me, coach. You know, just being a good kid too, right? And doing these little things. So how you do anything is how you do everything. I think it's gonna be career changing for you and uh, we wish you great success.